Okay, with that out of the way, we get back to the guy who's missing a contact lens, so he decides to uh, dig out the Arizona desert. Maybe I should tell him he should look at the Dusty Dunes desert for the contact lenses, but John's too silent for that. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Oh good, a um, brain shock cloud, or whatever they're called, a brain cloud. Or and right into some enemies. Oh well, not gonna deal with those. Let's see. Probably. S few sack lunches to do the, do the trick. So let's explore this big hole in the desert that they're doing just to find a contact lens. Well, oh yeah, that's right. There's a there's a place I could rest for the while. So let's go back to that after we rest. More like. Doing this for a contact lens. There has to be some laws against this. Okay. Let's analyze what this type of. go up first. Now note, I don't remember exactly where's where on this map, so I'm just playing this by ear. I think this is where we fight our first mini boss at. A uh, smoke 39 with number 3 on the background for some arbitrary reason that only makes sense in the original game. Well, let's just um, test things out. See. And
Okay. So what is brain boosting, which will be given to Joe? I may have been too much of a mana waste on that battle, but the guy probably can only be hit by magic attacks because of the deflecting ability. Here we're back where we started from. So let's go back. Fortunately, for the time being, the enemies seem to be a little bit easier than what they are on the outside. Let's go down. That belongs to, um, Joe, actually. So John gave the EMP grenade to Joe. Totally did not see that. Good thing it was not red. Let's just see what sort of. Okay. I don't think I'll. here. Once again, those Bugs keep sneaking up on me. if I can get away with just a simple level one attack. Yep, I'm sticking to level one attacks for these guys. So apparently... This is all the same person. Ice glass is probably overkill.
Dark Crystal. What does that do? Well. Oh, it looks like we have contact lenses. Seriously, it's a lot cheaper to buy another pair of contact lenses than digging out this entire desert. Oh, did I re read that correctly? Yeah, I did. Look, this looks like it. Well, Joe barely survived that. A pie tin. What? Joe did not die in that battle. Why is he dead here? even a good good item to have. Guess we need all the help we can get. Um, wrong event. But seriously, why did Joe die? He had 2 HP left in that battle, and... Sure you will. Even with Joe down, I can still take you on. What 
is the is the f Okay. deal with that. Uh, wipe time? Perhaps not. Dangerously close. I should I should leave behind the pie tin that I have right now. This has definitely turned out to be somewhat of a nightmare. Two of them? Don't need any more pie tins. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, enough of those events. Uh, no, not in the proper. We're not in the proper condition to fight that. Chance I need to take. And a chance that paid off, thankfully. That's right, Joe's EMP grenade might just be able to take down this guy. That'll do something. Be lucky to get through this one alive. have the Telsa parasol. That battle probably would have been impossible without it. Ah, 
of these fights again. Don't need any more pie tins. Lucky to get through this. Oh, great. This is turning into absurd. Into an absurd farce. Let's try to get out of this one alive. Pretty much everyone's taken out. Better be careful. Another one of these...
Now, amazingly enough, we were able to get. We were able to exit without wiping. I have to. I need an achievement for that. That, that takes skill to get out of that area with. With no mana, with a person with um, no mana, with a character who relies on um, on Psy, Psy, mana. What did I see there? So that's what happens when you make a call to your fa a father to John's father whenever John's not conscious at this moment. 